Okay, let's go ahead and talk about percent. And in this uh, specific video, I'm going to be actually talking about the percent of increase. So this topic percent is probably the number one practical math skill that everybody needs to know. Uh, you know, if you're studying this as a student in math, that's excellent. But, uh, you know, as an adult, I can assure you, you're going to have to know how to deal with percent. So most people can do basic percent problems. For example, if I asked you what 6% of 20 is, uh, most people would say, oh, don't I have to change that to a decimal multiplied by that number? You would be correct. But if I asked you something like, uh, let's see here, 13 is... 4% uh, of what number, a different type of percent question like that, this one here, this tends to kind of make people stumble. Okay, they'll be like, wait, wait, hold on here, what do I need to do? And then again, a lot of people will, may remember how to do these problems, uh, and you certainly were taught this because this is hugely important in mathematics. But if you forgot, I have other additional videos on this. But anyways, just to continue on with how important percent is, we have additional percent topics, and those would be the percent of increase and the percent of decrease. So percent is much more than just finding basic percent of a number. So if you thought, if you thought uh, you're good to go, like, oh, I can find 6% of 20, well, you got to know how to do these other things as well. And of course, I'm going to be focusing in on the percent of increase, which is pretty much uh, the same um, uh, way as doing a percent of decrease problem as well. But uh, anyways, here is the problem we're going to be doing. Um, if you start off with 12 and that increased to 17.5, what is the percent of increase? So that is going to be the topic for this uh, particular video or the problem I'm going to be um, uh, solving. But again, do yourself a favor. And make sure you know those other topics we talked about percent. I have additional videos uh, on my YouTube channel, and I'm going to talk about my Math Help program in just one second because I'm going to introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. If you're struggling in math, I can tell you you can do much, much better, but what you need is great math instruction. That's clear, understandable, and most importantly, comprehensive. You need a lot of great instruction. So if you're at the middle school, high school, uh, or college level, uh, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. I can tell you right now, it will help you big time. And uh, if you need additional help with basic math like percent, check out my pre-algebra uh, course and my math foundations course. Anyways, I'll talk more about that later. But uh, also, if you are preparing for some sort of test with a math section, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, check out my middle and high school mathematics uh, program for homeschooling. Hey, if you need a pair of math notes, I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. This is probably the number one thing that you need to be doing to improve your grades if you're struggling in math. And if this video helps you out, uh, consider helping me out by liking and subscribing. All right, so let's get into percent of increase again. Another thing you need to know about percent. So uh, let's just kind of uh, talk about the big picture of percent of increase. So when would you be interested in you know, in this, like a real life examples of percent of increase. Well, you might get a pay raise, right? Let's say you're making, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, $13 an hour and your boss uh, says, hey, I'm going to uh, increase your, your pay to $16 per hour. Well, what was the percent of your raise? Okay. How much did you, how much did you go up in your, in your, um, in your job in terms of your salary okay well this would be an example of a percent of increase problem another thing uh and the time i'm making this video in the news they talk about something called the cost of living allowance this is called cola if you never heard that before but this has to do with people who get like their social security not social security number social security um, well, yeah, I did a social security number again. <laughs> but anyways, for those that are in some sort of pension or whatnot, uh, typically every year, there'll be some sort of increase in their amount, whether it be a pension, social security, something like that. And they'll generally call this cost of living allowance. But again, this is a percent of increase. Okay. In other words, things are increasing, but how much did, if you're starting off with one amount and it's going to another amount, what was that percent of increase? Well, here is the formula, okay? So the percent of increase, and this is also the same for percent of decrease, but we'll do another separate video on that. Well, basically what you're gonna do is use this little formula. So it's gonna be the new value 
minus the old value or the original value, uh, however you want to look at it. And I kind of use these words, the old value. So the new, new value minus the old value, this is going to be our numerator. And we're going to divide that by the old value. Okay, when we do this, we're going to get some sort of decimal. And then we're going to multiply that decimal by 100 to get uh, our percent of increase. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Okay, but this is the formula. Yeah, and you want to remember this. So again, here is our problem. Uh, let's suppose you're making $12 per hour and uh, and you got a raise to $17.50 per hour. That's pretty awesome. How much did your, um, your pay go up? Okay, well, that's what the question is. That would be a percent of increase problem. So uh, looking at this, okay, you have to interpret my little formula. So what is the old value? I'll give you a little bit of a hint. If you want to do this on your own, put your answers into the comment section. But this would be what? Well, this would be the old value, right? So you're going to put that number there. What's our new value? Our new value is this. Okay, you'll have it right there. And then you're going to do this math, all right? You're going to get some sort of decimal. Then you're going to multiply by 100 and you'll get your answer. So uh, if you want to try this, go ahead and pause the video and get your calculator out and then do this real quick. But I'm going to actually do this right now. Okay, so here we go. So new value minus old value. That's our numerator over the old value. So what is our old value? Well, it's 12. It's our original amount. Okay, so we're at $12 per hour. And now our new pay rate is, say, $17.50 uh, per hour. So that's our old and new. you got to make sure you identify that in your problem. Okay. All right. So our new value minus our old value is going to be, remember that the order makes a difference here. It's not just the old minus new. It's the new first. If you, do, if you do it the other way with the percent of increase problem, you're going to have a negative sign. So again, specifically the new value. So that'd be 17.5 minus our old value of 12. And then we're going to go ahead and divide that by the old value. So let's just work on this first. Now uh, just get that decimal. Then we'll do this part second. So 17 minus 17.5 uh, minus 12 is 5.5. We're going to divide that by 12. We're going to use our calculator. So 5.5 divided by 12 will be 0.4583. There's some other decimals, but we'll just go ahead and just leave it for this, or just uh, round to these decimal um, these digits right here. So now we have our decimal 0.4583. We just did this part here, but that's a decimal. What we want is a percent. So to convert a uh, decimal to a percent, effectively what you're doing is multiplying by 100. Um, if you were like, oh no, just don't you move the decimal point over two places to the right, it's the same thing as multiplying by 100. So when we do this, we get 45.83 what percent. So if your pay went from 12 to 17.5 uh, uh, dollars per hour, okay, or uh, $17.50, per hour, 12 to uh, this amount right there, it increased, okay, 45.83%. So that's pretty huge, okay? Now, another way you can kind of figure this out, let's say your boss is going to say, hey, I'm going to give you a 45.83% increase in your raise. That's awesome. So what would you do? Well, you would find 43, or sorry, 45.83% of 12, okay? And that would be somewhere around 5.5, okay? Then you would tack that on to your new amount, uh, which would be 12, which of course would be around 17.5. So, you know, again, this is practical math. Uh, percent is, you know, there's a question you always get as a math teacher. And it's like, hey, when am I ever going to use this stuff in real life? Well, I'm telling you right now, the more you know about percent, the better off you're going to be um, in just practical, you know, uh, things in, in adult in the adult world, okay? Because this right here affects your money. It affects everything. And hopefully this video uh, helped you out, okay? Now, I have additional videos on percent. So if you're kind of confused about uh, percent, check out uh, my additional uh, YouTube videos. Uh, I think they'll be very helpful. But if you really want to formally learn this and really kind of build up your fundamental math skills, I'm going to recommend two courses again. Uh, those would be my math foundation course. That's a little mini course you can take. You can find all this in my math uh, help program uh, by going to the link in the description. And then my pre-algebra course. I also teach percent in my algebra one courses as well. So depending on what level you're at. Uh, but anyways, uh, hopefully this video helps you out. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.